Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for Emergence Season 1 Episode 10. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you a family member, you one of my peoples, welcome back. Now y'all, Emergence, it started off to be a good show because it had so much potential. But I like, they took a left turn and I'm no longer liking it. But I'm trying to stick in there. Because like, everybody involved seems to be making stupid choices in my opinion but yeah joe and F fbi go to reporter dude's house looking for piper and i'm like first of all if he has kidnapped piper he wouldn't take piper to his house he would take her somewhere else this his house has you know his you know name and social security number they know they the police can track where he lives why would he take her to his house i'm surprised like really mm. She's surprised that he, t that reporter dude took Piper since he's been the one to helping her. I was like, that happens all the time. How many times have you heard somebody that went missing and the person that was responsible for this person going missing has helped in the search? You you um lose something. The person who took it will help you like look for it, knowing that they are the one that taking it. So I don't know why Joe is surprised that since Ben, his name is Ben, but I'm a calm reporter dude. Since reporter dude had been helping all this time, he is the one that took her. He had been helping to make sure you don't get too close to what he is, which is AI. He didn't. He was helping you, but not really helping you for real, for real. I don't, I don't understand why she doesn't get that. But she gets a call from the Bronx saying that there was a body that matched Piper's description. Now I was like, how was this going to turn out if this was Piper? Because if it was a body, they were, one, they were going to do an autopsy. And when they open Piper up, they will see that she has all kind of mechanics in her. And I was about to say, and when she wiper fluid, but that would have been, that was, that was just me being messy. They would open her up and see that she is not a human. And they would want to know what was going on. And then the FBI and all these other people would get involved. Like, well, maybe not, because they couldn't just thought it was like one of these, um, sex toys these people I'll be out here getting I don't know but you know they would she Joe you wouldn't have got her back but I guess it's a you want to know if Piper was all right or if she was you know I guess she can't be dead because she's AI but like you want to know if it was her or not like I knew off the bat that it wasn't Piper but I don't but anyways but Piper tried to contact the family by like making the computer not computer but making the TV do some weird stuff so that's like yeah Piper's trying to contact with us. So she, what's her name? Joe believes it was a power surge and she wants FBI to track, FBI do the track, you know, where it came from. But turns out it wasn't a power surge. It was, you know, a communication satellite and it came from Pennsylvania. So we know that this communication satellite is in Pennsylvania. So let's run to Pennsylvania. And my thing was, hold up. Ain't granddaddy at home with cancer. So we just up and going to go find Piper who was not who was an AI. Now I granted, you know, we just don't want Piper just in the hands of anybody because we don't know she could be out here being used as a weapon. We don't know exactly what reporter dude and assassin lady what their motives are. So it'd be good to get Piper because you know they love Piper. They didn't before they knew who Piper was, they was, you know, Piper's part of the family and all this stuff. Mia's over her Piper, unpacking Piper's toothbrush and her toothpaste and which one she likes or doesn't like. Like, we bringing her home. I was like, she don't have taste buds. How does she know what flavor she does and doesn't like? See, this is what confuses me about this show. Piper can do everything a human can do, but she is not a human. She can eat like a human, brush her teeth and all these other things. But, like, how does she go to the bathroom? How she have taste buds to know what peppermint tastes like versus bubblegum? Like, how does she know these things? That's what confuses me about this. Now, Joe is, uh, Joe and, who is it? Joe, Joe and FBI do are, are starting to, she's starting to question everything that is going, everything and everybody that is around her. And as far as being a, uh, AI, because she and reporter, not reporter dude, but FBI dude, they question this man who owns a gas station. Like, okay, you this day and the third, you've been here this long time. Wow, that's a long time being here. Like, people move all the time. Why is that where this man decided to move to this town 15 years ago? 
Like, why is that so weird? And, like, he gets spooked and he take off running and get hit by a car, but pops up immediately. Like, oh, snap, he AI too. So, remember, assassin lady was able to jump off the bridge and just come back to it. But I was like, wouldn't that mess up your parts, your AI parts? Like, wouldn't your leg, like, snap off? Or do y'all, are y'all structure a lot stronger than bone? I don't know. So, now she's like, okay, he, he was definitely AI the way he popped up like that. Report, like, FBI dude, are you AI as well? I'm questioning everybody. He, he does a little test. like, or how do I know you're not AI? Now, that would have been a kicker right there if she rode in that little quarter-looking thing on her arm and found out that she was AI and she didn't know it. That right there would have been a major twist because then she wouldn't know what to do. Like, oh, snap. Like, but I gave birth to Mia. Like, how's this going on? And then we find out the whole family AI and that's why they were so close and concerned about um, Piper because they AI too. That right there would have got my attention. Okay, where we at? Okay. The dude that got hit by a car, he is starting to die. And, like, he refuses to tell them where Piper is at. Like, he, he finally dies and all. But, like, he had taken this little thing. Y'all know that thing that Piper took out of her neck, like, episode one. I guess like a tracking device. Yeah, so Joe decides she's going to collect that because she's going to find out where Piper is. Now, Joe finds reporter dude and like threatens him like, look here, bro, where Piper is, bring her home. But like, excuse me, her gun like disintegrates. Like it crushes up on itself. I was like, what happened? Uh -uh, I didn't like that. It looked, it looked it weird. And Piper shows up like, hey, Joe, look here, girl. I'm going to just let you this, let you know this. They need my help. And she has to stay. I'm like, why she have to stay? Like, what they got going on? And she's like, no, come home. We miss you. We love you. He's like, tell me I'm not afraid. And then, like, the bar doors closed. And they just, like, take off driving off into the, well, it's not the sunset because it was nighttime. They took off driving. So I was like, okay, you kind of getting my attention now. Because, like, we was closed. We was in reach and grabbing, uh, grabbing reach. We was in reach of Piper, but you know she gone. I still don't know why we're going through all this trouble with it. I guess because we just can't have people out here, you know, in control of an AI. But now she's saying, okay, maybe he AI too. Yeah, he AI too. Now, lastly, Alex and Chris, mainly Chris was out there because he's he's been you know tasked with taking over Joe's job. And while he was at the docks, like his keychain. Was like messing up like and he asked you know Alex what this could be he's like it seemed like some kind of like magnetic device so they used to go down there to find out what was going on and something on this boat don't look right it's some kind of liquid that would look like inside of a glass like it looked like a giant marble with some kind of liquid in it and we don't know what this is and they narrowly escaped having they was on this boat and then it's like they was about to take off and they had to jump off with the quick fast and the hurriedness so yeah we're gonna try to figure out what's going on over there so yeah that was just if i left anything out by means leave a comment below if you're new to my channel welcome feel free to subscribe it's free all day every day free 99 make sure your notifications are on so my beautiful face puts up a video you can click on it you can like it you can share it with your people you can come over and be one of my people if you already a family member and one of my people welcome back y'all know what to do tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my people by clicking that icon above and this is lady t signing off have a good one